I got a bonus connection for you. What does Portugal the man's Woodstock share uh, with a previous connection that we have made in the collection connection? Hello VC, Plastic Eric here for another edition of Collection Connection and uh, I hope everybody is enjoying their Labor Day Monday uh, and enjoyed their Labor Day weekend. Um, I'm here to do another connection for Collection Connection, the game that's just an excuse to show music. Um, I respond every Monday and I play this with my brother who responds every Thursday. So if you get a chance, uh, tune in so my brother had shown the album Woodstock by the band Portugal the man and uh, that kind of an unusual name because it's got a period in it you know between Portugal and the and so uh, I decided to go with a connection that was had nothing to do with any of that and you could probably see a little evidence of it right here. Um, if you saw that album cover uh, for Woodstock, it has an exploding car on it or a burning car. And uh, this album here by the Dead Kennedys, Fresh Fruit for Rotten People, is uh, also depicting a car in a fire, maybe more than one car, quite a few cars. But uh, you can notice the main one there. Kind of. As soon as I saw the Woodstock thing, I thought of this right from the get-go. So I just went with that. Um, some of the finest punk music that, to come out of San, or San Francisco, uh, California. And um, excellent, excellent album. It's got the, the hit Uberales, California Uberales. Um, absolutely fantastic song. Um, kill the poor, forward to death, when you get drafted, let's lynch the landlord. I mean, these are all, these are all classics. Um, this version that I have here is a reissue. Um, it's not even, originally this was released on uh, Alternative Tentacles, I believe. Uh, this is on Manifesto, so it's, that shows that it's a reissue. Um, an interesting thing is too, but, but, Tell you that it's not an original because of this back cover you see all these headless band members here um that originally used to not be that way um in fact it, at one point it was uh they had the people's faces on there and they sued and so they just removed the faces uh but they still appear on um the original pressing of this album so uh that's one way to tell whether you've got a reissue or a repress or anything like that. I think only the originals have the faces on it. Uh, classic inner labels. And of course on this side we've got DK, which I don't know about you, but every so often I'll get behind a truck and I'll have a similar looking thing on the back of it. And every time I see that, I think of Dead Kennedys. So I don't know if they actually got this from the back of a, you know, an 18 wheeler or something, but one day you'll be driving and you'll see this symbol when you're driving behind the truck and then you'll know what I mean. And of course, you know, no punk album is complete really if it doesn't have some sort of punk um, cover on it of a, of a much better song. Um, and uh, on this album here, they went with Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, an absolutely fantastic song. That, and their version of this is, is spot on. And Tim Tam's here. 
And so everybody knows the, uh, the Elvis version of that song. Um, I know there's a few other versions of that song, but uh, yeah, Holiday in Cambodia, Ill in the Head, Fun at the Beach, I Kill Children, Stealing People's Mails. I mean, fantastic album. Um, if you're not familiar with Dead Kennedys, where have you been? Check them out. Um, that's my video. I will see you guys on the next time. Don't forget to check out Bryce's response on Thursday. And Tom, do do you see the? Do you see it anywhere? You, you, you haven't told me last time, so it's there. I can I I can see it. I can see it if I look at the picture here. And this this is a little picture. So. Until next time, folks, it ain't just about the music. Bye.